Hey guys, it's Melissa here from Women Dev Workout, and I wanted to show you a quick move that you can add into your workout routine this week. You can either do it as your wake up move in the morning if you wanted to, you can do it at home, you can do it at the gym, anywhere you want to. It's one move that's going to help you tighten and tone the triceps, which are this part of your arm in the back here. Um, the triceps are guilty if not toned for giving you those quote unquote lunch lady arms or bat wings that we all absolutely hate. So this is a quick move that um, is going to help you tone that area. Um, it's also going to help you get a lot stronger. It's not going to make you bulky. And it's going to be super cool when you can do more of this exercise than your boyfriend, husband, or the guy next to you at the gym. push-up, except instead of putting your hands up here, you're going to put your hands closer together. They're going to be directly underneath your shoulders. By moving your hands in closer, what happens is you target more of your tricep muscle instead of just your chest muscles, which is what a regular push-up does. A regular push-up is also going to target your triceps, but by moving your hands in closer, you really bring the focus into the tricep area. Now. If you have never done a push-up before, that is no problem because you can do a beginner push-up and instead of doing the exercises on your toes, you can go ahead and do them on your knees, which is not a problem at all. Or if you've done push-ups before and you find out that your triceps aren't really strong and you can't do this exercise on your feet, go ahead and do them on your knees. The coolest part about this and doing um, close hand push-ups like this is that you can see your strength grow. Because if you continuously do them, if you do them twice a week, three times a week, you're going to see yourself become stronger. Maybe one day you can do two on your toes and then you have to do, because you're going to try to do ten every day, you can only do eight, uh, the rest of them on your knees. Then at the end of the week or the beginning of the next week, you see yourself change and you can maybe do four. That's why this is one of my favorite Watching push-ups is my favorite way to see yourself become stronger and see those results immediately. You're not necessarily going to see your arms get low, um, the flab go away right away because that obviously takes time and part of that's also diet. But seeing yourself get stronger is an awesome motivator. So, it's a regular push-up position and as I said, your hands are going to be closer. You want them right underneath your shoulders and you're going to go ahead and I'll show you both ways. So if you're on your knees, put yourself on your knees, lift your feet up, and you're going to bring yourself down. If you notice, my elbows are going behind me, and I'm going right up like this, and I'm pushing myself back. When you push yourself up, and your elbows are going up, you should really feel it in this area right here. If you do it on your toes, it's the same idea, and you're going to bring yourself all the way down, and right back up. So my hands are going down and I'm pushing myself right back up. I'm going to feel it right in the triceps. I'll show you what it looks like from this way so you can see my hand placement. My hands are, again, shoulder width apart. I'm going to go right up and I'm going straight down and right back up. One thing that you need to know, and you can't see my head, as you do this exercise and if you're trying to say that you want to do them right on your toes immediately because you think going on your knees is too wimpy or whatever, push-ups do not look like this, especially this one. If your butt is sagging like this, you are doing more damage to your low back than you are to actually helping yourself. When you do a push-up, you want to make sure that you're in a plank and that all this area is nice and tight and flat. My whole body's going down at the same time and my whole body's coming up at the same time. So if you can't do that movement like that, and your back is starting to sag and arch, go ahead and move on to your knees. So, go ahead and try this now, the close grip push-up. See how many you can do. Can you do them on your knees? Can you do them on your toes? Aim for a goal of maybe 10 this week, and then move yourself up to 20 next week. It's that push-up challenge for you. See yourself get stronger, help you get your arms nice and strong, and toned. If you like this exercise you can get, and you really want to focus on your arms, if you click the link below, 
you can get a $4.95 trial to Women's Arm Secrets with tons of other exercises and workouts that are going to help you tighten and tone your arms. It's a $4.95 trial, $4.95 trial. If you don't like it, let me know. You get a full refund. If you love it, I'll send you the rest of the program. Well, go ahead and click that link below now to get more exercises that are going to help you work your upper body, make you look good in dresses, and help you get rid of those lunch lady arms. I used to have them. Now I don't. So, that's it for today. Try your push-ups. Click the link below, and I will see you guys later.